eBay removing um, artwork and sketches that were created during the 1940s, and that was in the Japanese American concentration camps. Everything changes. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into the channel. Uh, Sunday, April 11, 2021. And as you can see behind me, it's not always sunshine and rainbows here in Florida. We are the sunshine state, but it is really, really nasty outside. So I decided to make two videos for you guys today. One will upload here right now, and the second will upload in just a couple of hours. So this channel is for reselling and learning how to buy and sell and profit and make money. But also part of what I do here is to keep you up on the latest news from the selling platforms like eBay, Amazon, Posh, etc. And there are two stories today that I thought uh, and from this weekend that I thought were important to cover. And one of them in this video is about eBay removing um, artwork and sketches that were created during the 1940s, and that was in the Japanese American concentration camps that were set up when the Americans were bombed at Pearl Harbor. Um, if you don't know that story, do some history lessons, Google it, uh, check it out. But essentially, uh, the Japanese during World War II attacked the American naval base at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Uh, they killed some 2,000 plus sailors. I don't know the number. Somebody fact check me on that one. I'm, I'm ashamed I don't know that. But after that happened, uh, the Americans uh, got scared that Japanese uh, folks living in this country were our enemy. Uh, even Japanese, long-term Japanese Americans, they rounded them up, they arrested them, and they essentially put them into concentration camps. Uh, it was a terrible time in this country. It was a terrible time in the world, and uh, what happened was terrible across the board. Well, during those weeks and months and years that the Japanese uh, folks were arrested, uh, most of them falsely, mind you, uh, they created artwork and sketches and sculptures and, and they did a lot of things to pass the time just like you would expect somebody that's locked up to do. And so what happened is a lot of that, um, that those antiques and those, those artworks lived. They survived this long and a family, a seller, uh, girlfriend family came into possession of them. This is you know some 70 years later and uh, they put them up for sale on eBay. And after uh, six days, the auction was a seven day auction. On the last day of the auction, uh, a group from um, uh, groups that protect Asian American and Japanese American um, rights and, and, and history, they got together and they contacted eBay and asked them, <laughs> there's the storm, I tell you guys about it. Uh, they asked them to remove these items and not allow them to be auctioned and eBay did. And so there's a section, and actually this wasn't just eBay taking a stand, which good for eBay on this, but um, there's a section of eBay prohibited items that actually prohibits items to be sold that were obtained from government or federally protected lands and property. So when these concentration camps were set up, they were government protected land and that's where the artwork or the antiques came from, the sculptures. So that did technically violate eBay's policy. And actually on a plus side of the story, the seller uh, actually reached out to eBay uh, after being told, and, and I think uh, some of the news sites uh, tried to get with eBay and try to figure out who the seller was. The seller reached out on their own and said they would be more than happy because the, the sketches were signed by somebody who they're trying to verify, but the last name and to the granddaughter of who she thinks was her father and grandfather created these, and they're trying to return the items to her so she can have them at no cost. So that's pretty cool. Um, but what I wanted to do in this video was I actually want to take you over to the screen share on my iPad, my computer there, and show you this prohibited item list because I think there's a lot of items on it that sellers may not be aware that they can or can't sell. This wasn't just eBay arbitrarily making a statement. This was actually following a policy, a little known policy that they have uh, that a lot of people haven't checked out. So I'll link the prohibited items below, but I also want to take you guys over there and show you exactly some of the items that you cannot sell on eBay and the reasoning. They have a great little uh, definition and explanation on it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump over there and check out what these items are just so that you guys are educated on that, uh, that fact and that page. Also, as we jump over there, as always, I'd like to reach out and thank one of the great 
uh, affiliate sponsors of this channel who always support this channel in some of the videos that I do. It's List Perfectly. You guys know who they are. You can't go wrong with List Perfectly. It is a cross-listing Google Chrome tool that allows you to take your inventory from one platform and cross-post it to up to a dozen platforms quickly in minutes and affordably. They have three great plans. You can check all of them out. They have a demo video. Again, I will link the demo video and the sign up link to list perfectly below. Putting your inventory out on multiple, multiple platforms will allow you to sell tons more items every month and at a cost where only one or two items will pay for itself. Also, if you use the code Rockstar LP, that's Rockstar LP for List Perfectly, you'll get 30% off your first month. So thank our sponsors for everything they do, helping support this channel. Thank you to List Perfectly, Claire and Amanda. The creators and owners are the best and they have the best customer service. So without further ado, let's go over to my screen and check out this prohibited item list. All right, so here it is. This one's actually on CNN. Again, I don't watch any mainstream media news stories. I just grab it from the top thing when it's not like politically inclined. But this is by Harmeet Kar, uh, updated at uh, 11.05 Eastern today, April 11th. eBay removes a listing selling art created in a Japanese-American concentration camp. At first glance, the drawings seem innocuous. Each of the black, 20 black and white sketches artfully depicts a natural landscape, pine trees and mountains set against a bright orb in the sky, cartoonish leaves splayed out like tentacles, unearthly limestone columns towering before an ominous cloud. Their origins, though, are darker. They're believed to have been created by an artist in the Manzanar, the concentration camp in California's Owens Valley, where thousands of Japanese Americans were incarcerated as a result of the United States government's racism and hysteria during World War II. Again, you can Google the history behind all of that. Um, and what happened after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. So um, basically they put this up for sale. They immediately began organizing to stop the auction uh, of the Japanese American community leaders. We don't feel that Japanese American history, particularly around the trauma of racist policies that excluded, forcibly removed and incarcerated 120,000 residents from the West Coast should be sold or used for profit. Uh, he's the chief operating officer for the Japanese American National Museum, Rick Noguchi. Um, and after meeting with Japanese American activists on uh, April 6, just hours before the auction was set to end, eBay decided to halt the sale of the artifacts, determining it had violated the artifact policy. At the time, the bidding had reached $470, and this is not the first such sale. So as we scroll down, you can learn about, uh, you can read this uh, about the young lady who believes these belong to her father and grandfather based on the last name that was signed to it. Um, and then you can continue to scroll down. The provenance is unclear. They're still trying to prove that. Uh, but the seller did say, I would rather give them away to the right individual rather than donating them to an institution. I am not interested in making a profit on these pieces. So well done by that seller who do, does say they had no idea where it came from. And I tend to believe them because how would you know that that came from a concentration camp? You probably wouldn't. But with that said, let's go ahead over to eBay's artifact and cave formations policy. So um, I'll link this below, but it says, as there are laws and regulations around the sale of artifacts, fossils, relics, and cave formations, it's important that listings follow our policy. Artifacts and cave formations can have significant cultural value and be legally protected, which is true. You can't sell uh, ivory, you can't sell uh, turtle shells, you can't sell, there's a lot of stuff you, you just can't sell. So um, items obtained from government or protected land, historical grave sites, or shipwrecks can't be sold on eBay. Shipwreck, shipwreck gold, not allowed. So that's where it is um, violating the policy. It's government or protected land. Those concentration camps were government concentration camps. Looted or stolen goods can't be sold on eBay. Obviously, if you steal something, you can't sell it anywhere, let alone on eBay. Listings for artifacts, fossils, and relics must follow all government regulations, be authentic, and listed in the appropriate category. So artifacts, fossils, and relics are allowed if they're legally obtained and they're listed in the right category and follow government regulations. Listings for repl replicas must state that the item is a replica in the title and description and be listed in the reproduction or fantasy category as appropriate. So they've actually created a category for repl uh, reproduced um, like fossils. So there's people that build like fossilized dinosaurs out of not real dinosaur bones. I actually saw that on Pawn Stars one time, how they synthetically like make molds and make dinosaur skeletons and whatnot. So you could sell that on the reproduction side. Listings for antiques must include the provenance or ownership history of the item and, where possible, a photo 
or scanned image of an official document, including both the item's country of origin and the legal details of the sale. The item must also be approved for import or export. So you have to make sure about where you're selling it, where you got it from. If you bought it from an auction, you know, an antique auction or an antique house, make sure you keep that bill of sale or that receipt. For more information on the categories of cultural goods most vulnerable to illicit activity, please see the International Council of Museums Red List. Listings for cave formations must follow all government regulations. Uh, Spilithiums, stacolites, and stalgamites obtained from caves on government land can't be sold. I don't know how to say any one of those words. Um, listings for government survey markers must include a photo or scanned image of the document proving that the government has transferred ownership to the eBay um, seller. So official government surveys and uh, documentation, you have to have proof of ownership. The following Native American items can't be sold on eBay. Funeral objects placed with the dead, grave markers, human remains, sacred items used by Native American religious leaders in ceremonial practices, such as ceremonial masks and prey sticks. Listing for Native American arts, crafts, and jewelry must follow all government regulations. Under the Indian Arts and Crafts Act, any item described as Alaska Native, American Indian or Native American must be made by an enrolled member of the state or federally recognized tribe or by someone certified as an Indian artisan by a recognized Indian tribe. So they're very serious about that. Non-Native American items in the style of Native American arts or craft must be listed in the non-Native American category. So if somebody out there is an artist who creates uh, Native American style items, you have to list it in that category. Uh, additional information, activity that doesn't follow eBay policy could result in a range of actions, including, for example, administratively ending or canceling listings, hiding or demoting all listings from search results, lowering the seller rating, buying or selling restrictions and account suspension, all fees paid or payable in relation to the listing or accounts on which we take action will not be refunded or otherwise credited to your account. Why do we have this policy? To protect items of significant cultural value and ensures that the important government regulations are followed. And so they have other stuff that you can read there. But I'll link this just so you guys know there is a list of items, uh, artifacts and cave formations that you cannot sell, including Native American items and government protected and historical gravesite and ceremonial items. So a little known fact, a lot of people probably never seen this page. Hopefully you guys understand this. You don't try to sell any of this stuff. Don't get your, your account suspended. It's not worth it. And um, kudos to the seller for trying to return the items to the rightful owners and the family as long as they prove that it is theirs. With that said, I'll leave it to you guys. Make sure you use that comment section below. It's important to me to hear your feedback and important to the algorithm. The more comments you guys leave, the higher this video will go in search and more people will be able to see it and hopefully protect their accounts. Hit that like button before you leave out and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos and I'll see you guys a little bit later tonight.